Ladies and gentlemen, on the Shrek Gaming to the common video, we have a bit of information concerning AMD Zen, which of course is the next generation of CPU, which is going to be, at least according to their roadmap, released in 2016. So there has actually been a leaked, well, a leak, supposedly a leak anyway, of the block diagram, and it's a rather large departure from the excavator. Now, unfortunately, I just cannot include the image in this video simply because, well, it's a leak. And if it is accurate, I don't want to get smacked by the YouTube copyright monster. But I have placed a link in the video description if you wish to check it out. But anyway, I'm going to quickly explain to you what's going on. So, it basically indicates that the processor also known of course as Zen, the, the core is going to be much more geared towards a single thread performance and there's going to be a couple of changes. We're going to talk about the floating point side of things first. Now the biggest point here is that you're going to be seeing two FMAC or FMAC 256-bit units. Um, each of those are twice the width of the previous excavator bulldozer and this means, theoretically, if we're basing it on history, in other words, what happened with the previous lineup of AMD CPUs, where the 228 bits in the excavator lineup could actually process either 128 bit SIMD instruction for a clock, or it could work on a 256 bit AVX instruction. So, theoretically, this would indeed, of course, indicate. Um, that in terms of floating point performance it should actually be able to handle up to 512 a bit which is pretty damn phenomenal and it will of course be using both 256 bit units to do that. There's also a rather large change when it comes to the actual front line of the CPU. So previously as I'm sure you all know a lot of the problems of bulldozer was single thread performance. It's not that it was terrible despite the fact that some people claim it was you know where they're basically saying it couldn't run pong that's not the case it just wasn't where it should have been um it basically amd took a gamble which we've discussed a few times before and it just didn't really work out from the application side of things so they've switched it it's now much more in line with the original athlon lineup or how intel are doing things so this is a good thing. So rather than having two integer, integer clusters, I'm sorry, it's now replaced by a large single integer cluster. And as we discussed, it's also going to have a large floating point unit. What does this mean? Well, if you just take this on face value, single thread performance is going to be up through the roof. Um, it's going to be much more in line with what you expect with a high performance processor and the good news well is x86 processor now we do have some other news and i i'm going to be in a little bit of danger of uh, repeating myself but this also ties in with the integer pipeline now we know that the 50 percent that's about 50 percent wider but the other major point of course is we know that Zen is going to be part of Summit Ridge, which of course is a platform it's going to be residing on, and it's naturally going to be shifting towards a DDR4 memory. Now we did cover previously some APUs which AMD are going to be releasing, once again, supposedly, and those APUs um, are going to feature 16 Zen cores, although there are some rumours that it's going to go up to even 32 Zen cores, and of course it's going to be very modular based. So that's going to mean that each module is comprised of four CPU cores. Now this is based on another leak slide. How accurate these slides are, or how truthful they are, of course, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say they're 100% accurate, but it's looking fairly accurate. If you look at any of the other press release slides AMD have released, these pretty much mirror it down to the T. Um, but anyway. And that means that you're going to get a good amount of level 2 cache and also a good amount of level 3 cache. So, for example, um, if we were talking about the 16 core um, Zen, you're looking at 32 megabytes of level 3 cache, which is pretty damn impressive. And that is going to be using high bandwidth memory. Now, obviously, the HBM is going to be for the actual integrated GPU, which, of course, is going to be a variant of the GCN architecture. Getting back to the actual Zen itself, however, 
We don't know a release date. All we know is it's going to be some point in 2016. Moving away from the Zen, we don't know much about the K12. Now, the K12 is going to be released in 2016 also, but it's not going to be x86-64. Instead, it's going to be an ARM variant, which AMD do know is a very lucrative market. So, it's looking fairly interesting. I've said a billion times now in videos and articles that the problem with CPUs is honestly there's not been that much of an improvement. Um, I've just released a DirectX 12 simplified video and I went into this as well that yes we're starting to see small improvements per core performance so you might get like 10% but really since Sandy Bridge it's not really been that big. I mean Sandy Bridge so let's see, Haswell, you might get 20%. Whoopty freaking do. Yes, there are some people who upgraded, but let's face it, if you had like a 2500k, upgraded to a 2600k, especially with price gouging on eBay, probably, you know, you might think to yourself, eh, it's only the, you know, the cost of the memory, uh, sorry, the motherboard might well do it, simply because, you know, I get the later motherboard standards and all of that jazz. However, let's assume that you had already bought a 2600k or you don't need a 2600k so let's say you're happy with your 2500k was it really worth or how many people really wanted to upgrade from a 2500k to a, um, a 4670 not a massive amount because yes you're saving a bit of power but that's often not really a concern on the desktop anyway I'm slightly digressing the main point is that Skylake from uh, Intel of course is going to be a rather nice improvement in performance however many would agree that going wide in other words adding more CPU cores is the way you want to go and the main concern I've got judging from the information that's popped out at the moment from um, from a Skylake is it's not going to have that many CPU cores what I'm hoping is that Zen is going to do that now obviously Zen is going to release a bit later so one would assume it will be a higher performance so let's hope that that is indeed the case shall we Anyway, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.